What I want to show you today is a tip for freehand plasma cutting when you need a straight line, whether that's a 90 or a 45, doesn't matter. So this is the torch for my plasma cutter and it works great. The issue I have is I have kind of shaky hands and so it, when I'm trying to cut a line, I like to have some sort of straight edge to help me get a better cut. My particular plasma cutter does have a drag shield so I can have it in contact with the metal that I'm cutting, which makes it a lot easier to maintain the correct uh, distance between the torch and your material because you just go right to it. The torch I learned on at school did not have a drag shield and you had to try to hold it about an eighth of an inch above the surface of the steel, which if you have really steady hands, probably no big deal. I don't have steady hands, so that's why I wanted one that had a drag shield. Anyway, the tip is related to using a speed square. Obviously, if you were to put this uh, speed square down and make sure that it's referencing the edge, you can come along and cut and get a really straight line. There's one problem, and that is this point here. Because of the drag shield and this interfering with each other, you either have to have a little J cut there instead of the straight line, or you've got to come at it from an angle, which will widen your curve a little bit and sweep down this way. And that's true whether you're doing a 90 or a 45, they're gonna interfere with each other. So to fix this, we're gonna need an angle grinder and an aluminum cutoff wheel. You could probably do it with the regular cutoff wheels as well. It'll just probably gum up. Um, aluminum doesn't behave the same as steel when you're grinding or using any sort of abrasive on it. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in, we need to come in, so from the center line of the drag shield, like you'll notice there's that bevel there. We need this bevel to be able to clear the edge of the speed square. I mean, I guess that's about an eighth of an inch beyond the edge of the drag shield. So what we're gonna do, just to be safe, I'm gonna come in a little bit more. I'm gonna come in about half an inch because that's already marked. I'll just give myself a line. I'm gonna do it on both sides. And then I'm also going to come down to the 45 end and also mark roughly half an inch. And then we're going to use those as guidelines to come in with the grinder. And we're going to cut in this way, trying not to quite hit the surface. And then we're going to flip it over and come in the other way and just try to basically take out those little squares at each corner. Just to make it a little easier, I drew it on the outside as well. Those are the areas that we're going to cut out. Now I've got that rough cut out more or less. So now I'm just going to take a little sanding disc to clean these corners up. Okay, so here I've got a piece of 3 16 flat bar that's about an inch and a half wide. What I'm going to do is just strike a line and then cut that freehand. And it'll probably be a serviceable cut. 
but it won't be great. So I could touch that up with a grinder and it would be ready to weld, but it's, it's not great. We can, we can do better. So now we will take our modified straight edge. And because this stuff's only 3 16 it doesn't stick up very, hard, very far off my cutting table. So I'm gonna put a piece of scrap underneath it. And that's just so that this piece here can clear the ribs of my cutting table. All right, let's see how we did. And you can see right here, I've got good contact all the way up and over the edge. Okay, now look at that cut. Much, much nicer. And it was all for, I don't know, I think these are like eight bucks at Home Depot. Let's go ahead and try 45 now. Okay, and you can see there, that's a fairly decent one as well. I, I did slip up right here at the end, but just a quick touch from the grinder will take care of that. That's pretty good miter. So that is my tip for better freehand straight cuts with the plasma cutter. Again, assuming you, you have a torch that uses a drag shield. If that was helpful, hit the like button. And if you want to see more of the stuff I do in my shop, please subscribe. We'll see you next time.